Tina. This is Z1035 special guest today with me, Nick, Joe, and Kevin, the Jonas Brothers. Welcome, guys. Hey, Thank you. What's up? Happy to be here. Welcome back to Toronto. It's been a while, eh? Yeah, it's been a minute. Um, we're happy to be back. You know, this is one of our favorite cities, and it's been it's been quite a fun tour so far, and we're just really looking forward to the show tonight. And the fans have welcomed you back. Back. Have yeah. you seen them outside? We have, yeah. We we've been seeing them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we go. No, it's been cool. Um, you know, we've been running around today, kind of doing the rounds, different uh, morning shows and press and stuff. And, uh, they're great. They, you know, they, they're pretty much a part of our crew at this point because they're, they're with us the whole way. It is great because you guys took some time off, about three years. So did it at every point cross your mind or, you know, was it ever a concern that, hey, will our fans openly welcome us back after three years? Did that ever cross your mind? It was something you obviously home for. You're never really 100% sure what the reaction is going to be like when you've been away for so long. Mm-hmm. So to have a warm reaction when we finally got back was incredible. And, and, and playing similar venues is crazy too. I mean, um, we're, we're, it's, it's sometimes going to be very difficult to be gone that long and then play shows and wonder if it's going to be a small little club or if it's going to be amphitheaters. And this summer's been packed with fans and it's been great i guess social media helps too right i mean you're keeping in touch whether absolutely it be- how we started really i mean we started on twitter and, and and myspace and when that was just kind of taking off and that's where we got our start i remember getting 100 followers in myspace and we thought we we killed every, the game we thought we won <laughs> yeah um <laughs> and so uh and now like you know somebody gets 100 followers like this um but it's it's cool to uh, still use that and, and try to keep up with what's going on, whether it's Vine or Instagram, and use that to our advantage to get people to go to concerts. And do you guys do your own your own tweeting and your own Facebooking? Absolutely. Yeah, it's all us. And uh, that's something that we are proud to say that we, we do that. And I think a lot of artists don't do that. Some that's true. pass it off and no judgment, but just it, it, it's, it makes it more personal when you're able to connect with fans and, and, and kind of tell them a little bit more about your own personal life and open that up for them because that can be something a lot of people like to keep behind the curtain understandably but um i think it's one way for our fans to get to know us as people a little bit better so talking about this break um whose idea was it to regroup was that a mutual thing or did you want one of you guys just think hey you know let's give this some thought i think it was a mutual thing you know we, we had taken some time to do some different projects some individual stuff mm-hmm. Uh, but but knew in the back of our minds that eventually we'd, we'd come back and, and make another record together and tour again. Uh, just need a little bit of time. But uh, once we came back, this was about a year ago, really quick, you know, and, and it took a second at first to refine the chemistry. But um, it, it was a great great experience to get back in the studio and, and create this music, having had the chance to live some life. You know, we were able to come in fresh and uh, you know to see now the music's out, both pom poms and and the new single first time. Uh, been really embraced and uh, you know feeling like first time is really starting to grow which is exciting for us and mm-hmm. the shows every night it, we open up with that song and it, it's it's great to see kind of the, the new chapter unfold right in front of our eyes and when you guys started making this new music you weren't signed with a label right you mean on this this time well actually the choice was to you know to leave our old partners um, Hollywood Records and we wanted to do it independently we wanted to be you know our own bosses and we actually were able to walk away with all our masters so having that opportunity it's, it's a huge thing and to yeah. be in our position to do it our way and to do it the way we want it's really great that must have been very liberating to have that power it was uh, and it still is you know I think that the thing that's great about where we're at now is that uh, we decide our fate both creatively and the way we release the music that we make yeah. um, so there's a lot of freedom and, and uh, liberation in that and, um you know, we can be more creative um, with how we put it out there. So, you know, if we use our app, for instance, to release the music, or uh, if we just want to repackage an old album, but just in vinyl, we can do that, and we've done it. So uh, there's there's no rules, really, and, and I think it's the new model. You look at like people like Macklemore and others who, who you know, really kind of handle their own business, and, and it sort of takes off for them. That's, that's the approach we're trying to take. But the, the good news is we have a, a really strong built-in audience, um, which makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I've noticed that over the last few days. Very passionate fans. Yeah. <laughs> I love the best. it. Um, so, you guys mentioned the new single, First Time. Video is coming out on Vivo today? Yes, it comes out at 10 o'clock. So, what time is it? 
Uh, by the time Sarah's, I guess it's out, right? Yep. I saw it yesterday. Oh, very cool. And, <laughs> you know, it's you guys with your pals having fun in Vegas. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, this must have been a really hard video shoot. Yeah, it was super <laughs> difficult. Yeah, like, no, how this, did you this guys video do was it? the best. It was um, kind of funny. It was like we looked at our day sheet. And those of you who don't know, day sheet is obviously just a list of things we're doing during the day. And it wasn't like, but usually it is like sound check and then do the, you know, our radio station. And someone was like, gamble at seven and then <laughs> pool party at three. It's like, so it's kind of like, I can, I can do this. I think yeah. I can do this yeah, for the I next two days. This. And this is not a big deal. And okay. Did I see Wilmer Valderrama in that video? Was that him? Yeah. yeah he's, a, he's, a good, he's a friend of ours and, and, um, we kind of invited all our buddies out. So we invited from our West coast, East coast. We flew them all into Vegas and pretty much gave them the, the, the idea. We said, look, we're doing a video last minute. Um, unfortunately what happens a lot, music industry these days, our song leaked a few days early. So we kind of had to figure out a way to release a music video. And, and, and we originally were gonna have a kind of a little bit more of an elaborate video and uh, a little bit more scripted. And it worked out better, I think. So we just said last minute, like guys, fly to Vegas. And we're just gonna film us hanging out and show a little bit more of what goes on behind the scenes and what really happens in our life and how we like to have fun and yeah. and, and our friendships we have and, and not hire some some modeling agency to get a bunch of people that are pretending to be our friends. Yeah, but make it feel real. It definitely definitely looked like a lot of fun, and I, I loved how uh, Kevin and Joe were you know having fun, and then you see Nick in the hotel room working away. <laughs> Trying to, trying to make music. <laughs> yeah, what's funny is is I was uh, I was actually double duty that trip because I was um, co-hosting Miss USA, so I, I was busy throughout the day while while they were from the music video stuff, and, and I had a, a couple things I, I could shoot at night, so we had to be creative with what I could film because my schedule was pretty nuts. But uh, it was a fun video to shoot, and really happy with the way it turned out. So let's talk about the new album because your fans want to know. Yes. It is called Five. Yes, correct? it's called Five. Uh, the Roman numeral V. You know, okay. And so uh, you know, we, that's kind of been the, the thing you've been seeing and people have been posting. And it's been really cool. And they want to know when's it coming out? I know, we've been saying it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's coming out in the fall. That's in what we fall. can say now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not announcing the official release date just because we want to make sure that uh, First Time has enough time to be properly set up and, and that uh, you know the minute it sort of reaches its, its peak that we come with the record. So yeah. we'll, we'll be announcing the release date soon enough. But uh, for now, I'd say that. Uh, expect it in the fall. And what can fans expect on this album? As a, far as a sound lot. goes? Um, you know, I think there's a lot of growth from the previous albums. And, you know, having Nick produce this, you know, the, the stamp is, you know, us. It's not having an outside, you know, uh, producer or someone else, you know, dictating the way it should sound or the way it should be. And this is, you know, putting our true and honest stamp on this. And we're just really excited about it. And the uh, the songs are really fun. And if you're coming to, to the show at Molson, you'll be able to hear a bunch of the new songs. So that's really cool. And collaborations are so big right now. Any collaborations on this album? There may be. Um, we haven't announced it yet. But uh, I think that, you know, for us, the most important thing was making sure our voices were heard. Uh, as it's been a couple of years since our last release, we wanted to make sure that uh, we really focus on that. And... Uh, so it's not a it's not a record of collaboration. There there might be one, but uh, for now it's just us. Looking forward to it. And as you mentioned tonight, you guys are at the Molson Canadian Amphitheater. Yes, yes. You have played this venue before. Uh, what can fans expect tonight? Fans can expect tonight some of the new stuff. Yeah. Um, we're playing probably more new songs than we have on any tour, and it's. It's a different show because we're all adults now and it's a little bit of a looser vibe backstage and on stage and um, we try to have fun with it and it's not, um, we're not taking ourselves too seriously during the show. There's songs obviously that are serious but um, it's a party, that's the best way to explain it and, and having the audience older now too, it's uh, it's fun. You're like literally cheersing like your beer, their beer it's, yeah. and it's, and it's kind of cool to see that and it's, um, and we made a joke. There's a bunch of girls. We were, we, they're even going by this name now. There's girls that we're teasing because they were getting white girl wasted. We said, <laughs> and they're in the they're in the audience. Um, every day they would drive yeah. for like five cities. Oh my! Every night it was the same thing. It was like they'd have a drink, and then they were fighting. It was so <laughs> funny. Then they were best friends again. It was so it was the same thing every night though. It was really funny. So um, we teased them. 
That's hilarious. You guys have kind of grown with your fans. Yeah, we absolutely have. Um, it's cool to see some of the fans that have been around for years. And we don't been doing this for ten years. And we've seen we've, when we first started, we were opening up, we were the opening, opening, opening band, and playing these small little clubs when the audience at that point time was I mean, like 18, 19 year olds for, for the opening, uh, for the main act. And then became our fans and um, we're seeing them like having their own businesses and some are like getting their master's degrees and it's, uh, you kind of get a little bit emotional, especially on this tour and um, <clears throat> not saying that's all of our fans. Obviously that we have fans that are younger and we have fans that are about the same age as us and they're kind of um, going through their own lives and their own uh, stories, but I think it helps also with the music. And the things that we're going through on this record, people can really relate to because it's stuff that's maybe a normal adult relationship would go through. Mm -hmm. So this is your first North American tour in three years. Being back together, are you reminded of like any bad habits that each of you has? Like, oh man, Nick, oh, he does this. I think we always are. <laughs> Always are losing phone chargers, and that there's always. <laughs> oh, always, I hate that. That's I, the worst. That's why I now have gone to the place of marking my name, my initials on every single one. That yeah, I have. that's I, smart. I have an entire bag of extra chargers oh in my, my God. bag. That was pretty messy. We forgot about that. <laughs> that's hilarious. So, if you don't mind, just take a few minutes. I have some Twitter questions from your fans. Cool. First, uh, first one is from Robin. Well, Kevin, congratulations! You're going to be Thank a daddy. You. We yeah, all know very that. Excited. Uh, have you thought about names? Uh, we have. We've thought about a lot of names. Um, we just don't know if it's a boy or girl yet. Yeah. Um, and we're waiting to find out. And when we do, it'll probably make the choice a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Or eliminate half. Um, but then there's those names that are kind of... A lot of unisex names, Kev. So, yeah, like Aaron. Mm -hmm. Well, it's such an exciting time. And Robin's Lauren, question... That's our front of house guy. <laughs> yeah. The guy, the guy on our crew, his name is Lauren. So, yeah. Nice. So, Laura, uh, sorry, Robin's question uh, was to um, Joe and Nick. Are you guys excited to be uncles? We are. Yeah, we are. Um, I think it's like what Kevin said. I think it's going to sink in when you hold the baby for the first time. Um, and it's a, it's an exciting thing. We kind of got a little bit of taste of it from our younger brother who's 12. And we were teenagers when he was born. So we had to help her out in the house quite a bit. And we, we enjoyed that and watching him grow up and become who he is. Mm -hmm. So, if it's a girl, be if it's I mean both. If it's a girl or guys, can be great. But you know, we really haven't had a little sister or someone like that. Yeah. So having a, a little girl, I think that'd be exciting. He or she will be spoiled, I'm sure. Yeah. And I have to ask this one because we're in Canada, eh? Uh, Kristen wants to know, poutine, yes or no? Hell yeah! Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I would love some actually. After a long day like this already, that's what you want to go go for. Um, we, I think is it, is it is it popular in Toronto as well? I thought it was more Montreal. more Montreal. Montreal thing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is it where's the best place here to here to get it though? Smokes. Maybe that's a little. That's unanimous. Like, there you go. That's right. where you're going. We can go. We, we, always, we can all just go there after. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We always get <laughs> we always get bus food um, on the on after a show. You, you're obviously exhausted from a long performance, and you're just. You're starving, um, yeah. and these venues outside are so hot that it's literally like a sauna. So, going in on like the biggest meal is always what we end up doing. So, I think that's what we're gonna go for: some smokes after the show. There you go. Enjoy. Well, listen, guys. I'm I'm so glad you're back. Thank oh, you so thank much you for so much taking for some time and visiting Z1035. Mm -hmm. And I hope you have an awesome show tonight. Thanks. We're and really keep cool because it's hot out there. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. So, thank you. Nice.